Hey guys, so um, a lot has happened since I've been banned off Facebook for now uncountable times and it was partially my fault because I had this roommate that was just like <laughs> and he would snore like dude the first day he came in he snored for like 16 hours straight dude I was going to lose my flipping mind and I, I'm talking I had earplugs in and everything and I'm just sitting here moaning and this guy's like making all these weird so I kind of made a little post saying how I wanted to I got to smash his face in with a brick. <laughs> I, that, Facebook didn't like that. So that's why I got blocked. But I mean, give me a break. I was just joking. Actually, we made pretty good friends. But uh, thankfully, they moved him. They said, oh, sir, you have some something you need to be isolated. And I'm like, bye. So that was when I got blocked. Anyway, try to be in-depth but not boring. First of all, thank and praise the Lord. I got up into the PT floor. Oh, my gosh. So I got a new room. I got a roommate. Super cool, younger guy. He doesn't talk much, but motorcycle accident. He doesn't talk much, but he just gets a lot of visitors. I'm by myself now. They went to go do something. They wheeled him down somewhere. But uh, it's quiet. I got all the latest, greatest, like, buttons, and it's an excellent floor. A lot more amenities and accessible stuff. So, um, I was losing my mind. I was like literally in that bed for nine days, did not move. They wouldn't give me a wheelchair. They wouldn't give me nothing. And, uh, so I was worried about my legs like stiffening up and like losing even more function of my legs. But luckily, it actually seems like I'm gaining movement, but it's very minimal. I still haven't stood up yet. Um, but I can maneuver all of my body and I can feel all my body. It's just pringly and kind of numb like when your arm falls asleep. But um, I don't know. Um, I was down there and the doctors were just like nonstop putting me off for this biopsy crap. Which turned out to be just nothing. I don't know exactly what it is, but I don't really care because it's. If it was an urgent matter, the doctors would be in here making it urgent. But they want to address it because, you know, any opportunity they have. But um, either way, they came in, oh, well, we got the biopsy. And it was like not a big deal. And she's like laughing. And yeah, well, we'll maybe do some radiation. I don't know. I'm not making a big deal of it. And even if they do, I wouldn't. So that's beside the point. Surgery's over. I'm just trying to get, um, trying to just get walking. But anyway, so then I was told nonstop for like six days, oh, you're going up to PT. So I was losing it because um, the last episode, I, the girl took uh, my IV out and got me a clot in my arm. Or put it this way, there was an IV that got a clot. It could be, it could have been the contrast from the MRI. Anyway, it was hurting, and I started to take it out. So she did. Started swelling. They did a test on it. There was a clot. But apparently, there's nothing they can do. So the weird thing was, is when my arm started swelling, in my uneducated opinion of what it was, I thought it was infection. Because nothing explained my extreme drowsiness. Because I always had a lot of energy. I was like, even though I was locked in bed, I was like, all right, give me the PT. Let's go. Let's go. But then I got this, what I thought, infection. And then I started getting really tired, like 5%, 10% energy all day, sleeping like crap, and then sleeping next to the snore guy. I was losing it. It was hell. Trying to go in a bedpan. It was just absolute nightmare. Um... So finally, they're like, okay, you're all ready to go. So, of course, right when I'm about to go up to PT, physical training, I start getting this really bad fever almost, which I forgot to ask the doctor. Because I'm like, if I don't have infection, what do I get a fever from? From the clots? Well, I'll continue what they found and what they gave me. Um, so... 
the transporter came. Okay, we're taking the floor six. I'm like, we're going right now. Like, the nurse was like, well, let me check your pulse and da da da. I'm like, no, let's go upstairs first. So somehow I mustered up the last bit of energy to get in that chair. And they wheeled me up there. And um, I don't know, I just, normally I breathe deep if I have like any issues, like where I feel like I'm going to pass out or whatever, which I've never passed out in my life. But I'll just do like deep breathing, like <sighs> whatever. But I was so tired, I couldn't even do that. And then I just went out, I just passed out. And some of them, some said I had a seizure because I was shaking um, for like five, 10 minutes. But then I came out of it and I felt amazing. Like, I don't know why, I was like, ah. Like I was really cloudy, but when I came out of it, all I heard was my mom crying. They're like, get her out of here. And it's <laughs> like 10 doctors around me. And they're like, we need to take blood. So they took blood. They poked my finger for diabetes, which, okay. So what happened was I got up here. First day I got in here, that's what they, that's what happened. Like I got here and caused the panic, you know, code blue. <laughs> so everyone kind of knows me now, but um, uh, after that, I was just like out of it, but I was still cognitive. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? They came back with the blood. It seemed like everything was fine. I just had a really low blood uh, pressure from, I just think it was fatigue or they call it when you stand up really rush suddenly, which I've had that because I know when I'd work on roofs, probably wasn't the greatest thing, but I'd be like doing gutters. And even in my great health, I would lean over and drill in some of the screws in the gutter and I'd stand up and I'd be like, whoa, like, but I never passed out, but I could feel like I was, so I do have a tendency to like have whatever that up and down thing is. And I was, I've never, like right now my bed is like this. Like that's kind of like the most, I, well I'll sit up a little bit more, but nothing straight up like I was. Anyway, doctor came back, said B12 was urgently low or pretty, he didn't say urgent, he said it's very low. B12, what the hell is that? Which reminds me, I'm gonna go Google, how do you get low on B12? And uh, so they gave me a B12 shot, and I'm hoping and praying that that's the reason for my uh, exhaustion, because I thought it was my arm, but they said in the blood test they didn't see any infection. Is that true? I don't trust anyone necessarily, because why the hell would I start getting tired all of a sudden after this? I mean, I was just, like, exhausted. And then fever. I, last night, I'd take, like, four Tylenol just to stop from shaking. <laughs> and, um... So, I don't know. We'll see. They gave me the B12. I'm still waiting on the IV. I got to get zinc. No. Lead? Iron. Iron. I'm going to get an iron... IV put in. I already have an IV. So anyway, um, extremely exhausted. Got checked in today, first time. And uh, did a little bit. I got into a wheelchair and I went to the bathroom. Thank God, it was like the first time. And it was amazing. Cause I like, I don't know, I tried to, it was hell, utter hell. But I, I got to go a little bit enough to where I got some stuff moving. I got a little bit of energy. I'm still surprise how low energy I am right now and I don't know we'll see if it gets better with those with the uh, lead the iron I shouldn't be this tired I had tons of energy like four days ago before this so that's why I'm still speculating it's freaking infection but she said b12 and iron so could I actually be this tired from that and how long Cause they gave me the shot about three hours ago two and a half and I'm maybe a little better if anything I felt better after going to the bathroom anyway that's that got there uh, my arm is so swollen I can't use it to lift me up so it sucks because I still can't use my upper body strength which now that my bag is healing I should be able to utilize but of course no you got a freaking clot in your arm because of the IV unbelievable so it's just touch and go but 
I do feel if I can regain my energy, it's on. Like, if I can just get to that point where I'm, because now I can go, I can run free. Like, if I get my energy, like, I can go to the bathroom. I can go take a shower. I can start to break free of the chains, but I can't do that until this energy or the, you know, PT says I can, but I know I'll show them I can. That's what I got to do is show them. Anyway, so that's like the overview. Uh, I'll try to make another video, but for the most part, I still haven't tried to stand. I don't think I could. Um, I'm going to pray I can, and I believe I will. Just because of the, a lot of the doctors are like, oh, that's good, that's good. And I heard like, oh, you have, you know, full mobility. I don't want to get like a, a pure prognosis from anyone. I really, and I don't think they do it anyway. But, um, it's going to be a challenge. I, mean, I could see it taking months to years to walk normal again. So be it. Whatever. Nonetheless, I'm looking forward to losing, getting this energy gone. So if anyone has any, I don't know, you can't contact me. I might have someone post this link on my wall. and Maybe you can comment in the video. If I, I'll try to see if I can activate that, but you have to have an account. Why would I be so tired? I forgot to ask the doctor that. Anyway, I'll ask him again. It's supposed to come by tomorrow. So that's it. I'm going to upload this. God bless you guys. I didn't forget about you. It just got blocked. Go figure. But I'm doing better besides the exhaustion. If I can just get the dang exhaustion, I'm on my way. Because I'll do ten, tenfold. But I'm at the mercy of my energy. And it doesn't make sense why I'm still tired. Uh, all right. Love you. Bye.